So Juski said girls never come back friends after that Miami trip. Facts though, let's see this little skit. Bitch, we are Rip me out the plastic, I've been acting brand new. Bitches acting like they running shit, they really ran through. Hey, bad, hey, bad. bitch, I'm like, hey, bad. Hey, hey. Bitch, we been acting bad. We act. What we going to Mr. Jones tonight. Like, we going to Mr. Jones. Why y'all ain't see y'all money? See, you what? always doing too much. Wait, you doing too much. And this is why you bitches can't even get next to me. I can get my own flights. I can get my own trips. I'm not fucking with you phony ass bitches that think I'm. Bitch, we are. That's just how that shit be. <laughs> That's just how that shit be, man. Hey, bro. I hope y'all make friends with people who got funds so y'all can have some fun together. That's what I hope for y'all. That's why I pray for that for y'all. So y'all ain't got to make, man, uh, make some fake phony ass friends. Just go out and see the world together. Or, you know, get y'all a dude. Just go do that shit with each other. Y'all what y'all want to go and hoe. That's why, that's why y'all want to be, be able to hoe. Nah, no, no, no. You can't hoe without some damn problems with that shit attached to it. But now, uh, next story though. So women go viral after explaining why they date a married man over having their own man. Let's check this out right here. A married man that never tells you no. Or your own man that tells you no 45% of the time. No, I'm dealing with the married man. Nah, I take the married dude. I'm sorry. I'm fucking with the married man. A uh, married nigga. I'm sorry. Tell me yes. Everything. Oh, the married nigga. Yeah, give me him. I will deal with my man that tell me no because I'm going to beat him the fuck up. Taking the married guy because why am I with you? You keep saying no for her. And I'm gonna go with the married guy. I don't like the word no, so. A married man. Married man. The married man. The married man. The married man. You're my little secret. My own guy that tell me no 45% of the time. A married man. Do a married man because nine times out of ten we sure these niggas anyway. I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to take the married man. Like, why? I need to be told no sometimes. You can't always get what you want. Thank you. Thank you. God damn. God damn, bro. Y'all want to live life. Not y'all. These women in this video that was just shown. They want to live life on easy mode. Everything given to them. Like, they just in this bitch just cruising. Main character. What the fuck? That's crazy. That's wild. That's wild, boy. And the fact that they could come on the camera and have no shame to say this shit. So you know it's gonna be a time. It may be a time where you may be seen by a future prospect that may wanna marry you. May wanna be your man. And he gonna see that shit like, what? <laughs> your own man, your own man. Hell nah. Next story though. So in Dwayne Wade's situation, I know these ladies could never be this. So I'm going to remind y'all in a few, but Dwayne Wade addressed the 50-50 comments made by his wife, Gabrielle Union, when she said that they go 50-50 in their relationships. I have 20 to 50 responsibilities. Right. And my wife have 20 to 50 responsibilities. And when I say that, that means she has a mother, she has a sister, she has her dad, she has, her, she has a lot of things that she's responsible for. Right. You know what she does? Right. She pays 100% of that. Right. You know what I do? I pay 100% of my life. When our life come together. Pause that. Now, I said this before in a previous video. When you're rich in a black family, especially when you come from the slums, it's not going to be a lot of people that have the resources that you have. So you kind of have that savior complex at some point in time. You, you build that savior complex and want to help everyone else because you have an ample amount of money. And why not? Why not try to your best to go ahead and make sure you bring your family up? You feel me? My wife is a working actress right. who spends time away from the family no. to go work, do our job. Feel. Right. We decided together because I think I said one time when we was in Miami, I said something about it being my house that I paid for. Uh -oh. My wife looked at me. She was like, "You will never say that to me again when it's something that we share." And so <laughs> my wife was like, "That when we moved to LA." I got half on it. You will never say my house again. Wow. She said, you can say that in the arena. <laughs> yeah. And so it, it, in our life, our home, 50-50, we purchased it together. Right. Hmm. 
Our daughter. Anything that goes on with our daughter, 50 50. We right. share it together. Right. Now, it's some things I pick up versus some things she pick up, but she does something I do. I right. do something. Right. If we take a if we take a yacht trip, we could do a 50 50. Or I can do it myself. But my wife is a working woman. Right. She's a boss and an independent woman in her own life. Right. She's like, Sorry. I'm gonna put, you know what, that little two hundred, that little uh, two hundred that she was gonna spend on this, I'm gonna throw something else on there and we're gonna go on a bigger trip. We right. gonna ball out. Like this is my wife. Right. Right? Like I don't know about y'all, but I like having a wife that's like, that's cool, you can do that. The house we live in, thank God in Hidden Hills, nice house. Right. Whatever millions. We could have had a house, a nice house on my 50% too. Right. It'd have been, it'd have been nice. Been nice. She was like, no, nah, let me put something else on and let us live a little different. Oh, yeah, they got a little, a little bigger. bigger. So we probably share three things in our life that we 50 50 on. Right. Everything else, I'm 1,000%, and she's 1,000%. Right. right. And so we decided that certain pieces of our life we would share in it. Now, to remind y'all, this is what Gabrielle said. I struggle with that still, just because I. I think I just have more responsibilities, you know, for my money. So I get nervous, like, oh God, that, that movie didn't open, you know, well, what does that mean? Do I, am I, do I, do, am I gonna have enough to, to, to hold everybody up? And, and, and everyone's like, it's coming, like, calm down. And I'm trying to find peace in the journey, not using my anxiety and scarcity mindset to be my engine, which is hard. It's weird to say I'm head of household because in this household, we split everything 50-50. But in the other households mm. that each of us have to support, it puts this, there's always this like gorilla on your back that it is like, you better work, you better work, you better work. You know, you, you gonna sleep in? Damn. Mm. You know, somebody might not eat. My first time watching this video, I understood her perspective, but listen to it a second time, you know, think from a woman's perspective. It's, you're told that you're, you're just gonna be this dainty, beautiful woman, you're gonna be a housewife, man, take care, take care of everything, but you do become a star. You become a star. You may inherit some bills for some families and you become the head of household, whether you like it or not. So that mentality of her, she's already taking care of family members, households, and then you have a husband, they have their little issues. He said what she, he, she, he said what he said. She said what she said as far as like, you ain't finna just, you know, feel like, you know, you just run shit because I could help too. You know, I could put, put it in what I could put it in too. You know, she wanted to swing her meat too. <laughs> That's her situation. But it's a very unique situation. But I think we can't compare us to millionaires with these issues. This is a whole nother line of thinking, a whole nother. These are breadwinners to a whole nother degree. And men, you may compromise no matter what, you may compromise us. In, in this situation, the compromise that Dwayne Wade gotta make is actually a bonus for him. <laughs> it's a bonus for him. Cause he, what, he ain't gotta prove himself to her. He him. So he ain't gotta prove that I could pay the bills. He could. So a lot of these women out here, they be like, oh, the man got to prove he could pay the bills to keep me. The nigga don't need you there. Yes, it's a pleasure to have you there if he loves you. But he don't need you to maintain his lifestyle. So, you don't. he don't have to prove shit to you that he could pay the fucking bills. It's, that's not their situation. So, y'all be trying to qualify whether a man is good enough or not based on whether they could pay the bills. A lot of men can. A lot of men can. But that's not a qualifier whether or not they're good enough for you. It's more things that comes into play. In this situation, Gabrielle Union felt like somehow, some type of way, she wants to even a playing field, even, even everything out. And that's what she did to do that shit because she didn't like how that argument went. Shout out to Club Shay Shay. Um, they provided an exclusive clip for Dwayne Wade talking that shit. Um, the comment section had a lot of women saying, oh, Dwayne Wade made the situation sound worse. Let me see if I pull it up. Because y'all know in the Black Twitter episodes, it ain't right if we're going to dive into the comment sections. So basically took her out of her feminine energy and forced her to live in her masculinity. Okay. No, she wanted to swing her dick on her own. She want to swing her dick on her own. Y'all seen how she testified about her past relationship or the man cheating. I want to cheat too. Eh? Or you did it. I want to show like she want to swing her dick too. It's not about if a woman's feminine, she's feminine. You can't take somebody out of their feminine energy. That's, that is what it is. Dwayne Wade may have some feminine shit about him, and she just more masculine. That's why they easily work together. Who knows? 
Homie says they both fighting to be the man of the house. <laughs> Hell yeah. Y'all both need to go 50 50 and give me a smooth million. Thanks in advance. I think he made it worse. He made it worse to who? That's the problem when coming to explain shit, explain shit to you. You don't matter. You don't matter to them. You, you, your opinion does not matter to them. You are still going to have your same life no matter what. Wishing that you were in a position to have the cards that's in their hands to make the same decisions. You don't matter. Next story. I we cheated a lot of times. So, you know. I I'm glad you admitted that. Because people act like they fucking never did nothing in their life. Oh, no, okay. I'm going to tell the truth. I cheat. Why? What are the circumstances that make you feel like I'm about to cheat? When I feel like he gets bored. When I you feel like you're bored or you feel like he's bored? I'm bored. Ooh. He be loving me. Like... I don't want to keep no. fucking in the bed. Mm. Like, fuck me no. on a counter, fuck me on the floor, fuck me in the bathroom, fuck me in a refrigerator yeah. if you can. But, you know what I'm saying? That's a part that, like, gets boring. Like, okay. it's the same positions all the time, the same thing, you know, you're saying yeah. the same things all yeah. the time. Like, do something different. You know, but, like, when soon as you do something that's supposed to be, like, out of the norm, they're like, oh, you're not supposed to you're do that. You're a lady. Person. lady. Yeah. You're supposed to be a lady. Oh, you're a hoe or you're this. No, yeah. I'm human. Like, if I'm not happy, I know somebody's going to say, well, if you're not happy, why you why you stay? Bitch. It's complicated. Sometimes yeah. it's complicated. It's compl she, she I've cheated a lot of times. I wish I could hear more if I was present there. Because my question would be, would be, did you tell them? Or did you initiate and then when they react in the in the manner that you don't like did you then tell them and if then fuck this complicated shit that sound like it's bullshit a bullshit response that sound like you don't have a response to take accountability for your actions so you're gonna say it's complicated that's one of the dumbest responses possible stop saying stupid shit but then want people to take in the, uh, the other things you say like a smart shit no this is dumb this is dumb if you are in this position and this person is not doing enough for you to make you want to cheat, then leave. Then leave. You sound like a hoe. You bored? You sound, man, you sound like a hoe. That, that, that's one thing that always bothered me about people that cheat, especially when they cheat with new random people. Men have this idea that we work for our relationships to be able to, to have access to the force, to the coochie. We think we work for that. So then when we find out that someone is, is, is getting access to that vagina, especially a new random person, and they not put in the work that I have to put in to maintain this relationship, the phone calls, the trauma dumps, the 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 time I have to spend around you to hear shit I don't want to hear. It's like so many things. The, the paying for this, paying for that. There's a lot of men still pay for X, Y, and Z, even though ladies don't want to say it. But this nigga just come and do the bare minimum and get pussy the biggest prize that you have to offer. Y'all know the pussy is a big prize because some of y'all think that's a good enough gift for Valentine's Day, Christmas, goddamn Thanksgiving. Y'all think pussy is the best gift possible. So y'all know it's a damn prize. And y'all giving it to these bare minimum niggas that y'all just meet and he just give you a different feeling. That's what fuck niggas up in the mind. That's what fuck niggas up in the mind, bro. Just go ahead and leave, bro. Just go ahead and leave. And on the vice versa, that, that's that's why how why men think it's a difference between how men act and versus women um act in cheating. Why the women cheating is worse because we think it's more work that's attached to being able to have sex with y'all. Now we're learning at the conversation that's very very candid that that's not true. We're learning that. But you guys have to understand that it's not true too. And then once we do that, then we gotta rearrange the whole evaluation of how we do this date and shit. Once y'all realize that y'all pussy ain't as valuable, you'll give it up easy, or it should be able to be given up easy, then we have to refinance dating. <laughs> <laughs> we got to change the prices to everything. We got to come back to the table and talk about discussions about how we value every goddamn thing. We have to. Y'all got to think about that when it comes to this dating shit and how y'all keep lowering the threshold for the entry to the pussy. We got to talk about that shit, but y'all don't want to talk about it because y'all know, y'all know 
Equality comes with a lot of ramifications that y'all don't really want. Y'all gotta really talk about that family and shit if y'all really want that shit. That sexual liberation shit. Y'all gotta really talk about that shit if y'all really want that shit because it comes with some consequences that y'all don't really want. Next story. So Tyler Perry is reportedly set to acquire BT, including VH1 and BT Plus. So VH1, that's huge. And BT Plus. So that is basically the end to the saga when you had 50 Cent. I believe his name was thrown into the hat. We had Puffy trying to go ahead and say he was fighting for it. Um, the guy that owns the Weather Channel. Oh, I'm sorry. I think Byron Allen. A lot of people was trying to fight for a BT. Tyler Perry, ultimately, it looks like he's going to get a W. It may lean towards Paramount already having a working relationship with him. I don't know what was the, the um, deciding factors, but it looks like based on this report coming from the steamer. I don't even know who the hell the steamer is, but the steamer is saying that Tyler Perry is set to acquire BT, including, including BH1 and the BT+. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that right there. Next story. All right, so let's check out this text message thread. So this woman um, sets it all up, all up saying, some men would embarrass you every chance they can. Dude is struggling with bills at home, and he subscribed to his wife's friends, OnlyFans, and sent her over $600 in total. She told the wife because she knows they're struggling and gave some money. She lucky she got anything back. Hmm. Let's read the text message thread. So let's pull up in a thing like this right here. So this is a straight up Apple Pay for 250. So she said, hey sis, I really hate to say this, but Dan is on my OnlyFans. I didn't realize it because he was using his middle name and all. He sent a little over $600, but it take 20, 20%. I feel like the least I can do is send half of what I saw, especially with the bill situation. He is blocked and I took him off my Twitter as well. Um, okay, thank you, but I'm trying to understand why you only sent half. And that's our money, that's weird. She says, and how do you know, um, how do you not know who it was but was talking for weeks? So she says um, this right here. Once it got sent to me, it became my money. I made videos and bought outfits for those on top of them automatically taking 20% because he's not my husband. So she responded to um, how, how, how she didn't know it was him. She says, because he's not my husband and I don't know his middle name off the top of my head. So she says, well, I think you should send the rest. You know we are behind. This is crazy. So what do you think? Do you think that she should send the rest of the money to the lady? Me? No. I don't think she should send the rest of the money. No. I don't think she should. I don't think she should. One, Dan is a fucking loser if they're really behind on the, the bills. He's a fucking loser. Fucking loser. <laughs> um, you you said you giving six hundred dollars to an OnlyFans person and your wife is thinking that you're behind the bills. You're a fucking loser. You're lame. And good luck if you stay in a damn marriage, bro. You, you're dumb. Um, as far as the woman, if she's making having expenses that she has going on with this shit, she can't. She send that money back, and then she got taxes to worry about too. Nah, and then she took the time to, to do that. She worked for your husband. She worked for your husband. You remember now he done seen he done seen the pussy. He done seen what he seen. So he got his money worth. <laughs> he got his money worth. So he was a paying customer. He got a damn discount, basically. <laughs> Straight up. I was thinking about, you know, maybe he, he, he could have gave um she gave him a um a refund, but still, he seen enough. He was a paying customer, so it is what it is. She delivered a service, but when she found out who it was, she tried to deliver the money back. All right, so that's what it's gonna be. She probably did a, a, a safe calculation at all. That ain't even the full. <laughs> That's after the. <laughs> she gave 250 after everything was calculated out. So you got to take that. Go ahead and take that. Be happy you got anything back, man. Um, just, just like the original post say. She lucky she got anything back. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that right there in the comment section below. But let's go ahead and move on to the next story though. So Tusi was with his son, dressed as a cowboy, you know, with a, with a, he with a little jit, he with a jit, dog. So the chick gonna say, y'all sure he not gay or fruity with all this shit like that? Um, this is what Tusi had to say. Everything a nigga do in this generation be fruity to y'all. Y'all see a nigga in person be ready to suck a nigga dick, though. The fuck is you talking about? Is a nigga stop playing with me while my son in my hand, bitch. Hey, bro, it ain't just this generation, bro. These hoes will play with a nigga name if you let him, bro. These hoes will play with a nigga name if you let them, bro. And let you not want to fuck them. They gonna swear you gay just because you don't want to fuck them. What? What? Who do you, who do y'all think y'all are? Just because a nigga don't want to fuck you, I gotta be gay. 
They got mirrors around this motherfucker. Look at them. Look at the mirrors. And then really do a self-evaluation as why a man, if a, if a single man, a single able-bodied man don't want to fuck you, and you throwing the pussy at that man, look in that mirror and there's your answer. Next story. All right, so Tax Stone, man. Tax Stone is out here talking from behind the bars. And he going on a Twitter rant. Um, it's kind of important to talk about this shit. I, I had to make sure I cover this shit right here. So um, this is what he got to say. It's about a check-in, check, people checking in and stuff. So um, why WAC 100 ain't made Elon Musk check in? But a nigga that just got enough to pay a 100 grams gold chain got to pay. Talking about check in, Martha Stewart don't have to check in. She got more money than all these niggas. Machine Gun Kelly ain't checking in with the Pyrus and neighborhoods. Corny ass gangs talking about check in. Check these nuts. You, your set, and your moms. The check in shit is so corny, y'all just robbing your own people. Them niggas ain't half Ben Affleck and Matt Damon check in yet. Yet. But as soon as a little Negro gets some money, here y'all go. That's all facts. That's all facts. That's all facts, man. He need to go ahead and just become a damn author from behind the bars, bro. I never was a Tax Stone fan because I, I, the reason why I never was a Tax Stone fan is the reason why he behind bars. I thought he was taking the gangster shit too far, bro. And I'm glad that he probably has this coming to Jesus moment that he's checking the gangster shit, like, bro. All that too. To a hood shit, bro, it ain't gonna get you nowhere. It's, it's gonna take you nowhere fast. And it took Tax Stone nowhere the fastest possible because staying on that gangster shit and this way he at right now. So I'm glad he coming from this perspective as he's speaking on situations. Shit, fuck it, bro. Go ahead. Talk your shit. Write books. Send them shit to Charlemagne. Let him let him publish them things through his little situation that he got going on. Let you have that'll let you have some money coming in. And that's how you could be able to stay relevant. You finally out. You're going to interview tour. And you could be the next goddamn Wallow or some shit. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. But try to show you best to stay relevant, Tax Stone. Um, I ain't going to say free you because, you know, like I said, I seen your shit coming. But um, next story. So the YouTuber Pootie, he went to the most racist town in America. It's called Zinc, Arkansas, I believe. Peep this. I got calls from as far away as Ireland asking... Is uh, Zinc the most racist town in America? Now, what's your thoughts on that? I told him, well, we used to be, but we lost the title. But don't worry, we'll get it back next oh. year. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, that episode right there, I watched that shit, and I, I'm i not proud of how much I laugh at his man. I'm not proud. <laughs> I got to start doing reactions. I'm really going to start um, getting on my streaming shit and doing reactions to content again, man. Y'all got to peep for that. I'm, I got to just do this grind, man. Next story. All right, so this topic right here, I missed this one right here. So Houston, Texas woman goes viral on Twitter for sharing that she gets told she's too pretty to work at Home Depot. So the one job I work at that I get reminded I'm too pretty to work at. It's just my college job, too. It has good benefits. I mix paint, y'all. <laughs> That's all she do. I know a good shot. I know shot a good woman. She could have made her OnlyFans, but she's got a real job, and it's an honest living. Hmm. So, she's a pretty woman. She's a pretty woman. Um, the glasses are cheat code. Big glasses, but some women are cheat codes, man. Um, she says, I really hope my posts inspire little girls to realize getting money the right way is possible and you gain so many insightful things and benefits from doing it. Hmm. I like that. I like that. Let's keep reading. Last thing I want to say is I don't think I'm too pretty to work anywhere. I work at Home Depot because it's a decent job that pays good while I'm in school. Please stop taking social media to heart. God bless. Oh my God. I wish someone, I wish she could have talked to the guy that, that remember, y'all know that damn therapist? She crashing now. That girl there looks stupid as hell. Matter of fact, that girl is dumb as hell. Matter of fact, I need to go and pull her up. I need to pull her up. I may tap back into that therapist, but let me finish this segment while I'm here. But I did hear that she was hit by Playboy or something like that. I don't know, but I heard that she has people that's trying to hit her up to get her to do shit because she's an attractive woman. But Shaq slid in her DM, you know? He said, don't let them people bother you. She said, thank you, Shaq. He said, don't read the comments. Stuff like that will drive you crazy. Have a great day. Tell all your boyfriends I said hello. Ha, ha, ha. I will. You too. So y'all think that's Shaq trying to throw a little, like, you know, <laughs> what's up? What's up with it? 
what's up with it you know sometimes you gotta just slide in there on some friendly shit and then cool but no nah, i've seen shaq 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 has been pretty friendly with a lot of people especially like um when glow really first popped off he sent, sent her love if shaq is aware of what you had going on he's gonna send you love if shaq sees you if you come across his radar and you're doing something positive or good he's going to show you love or he just see you in the store you just buy some shit he's gonna buy something for you every single day shaq tries his best to go ahead and spread love in the world that's why that's what he does so i can't just say that i don't know why the hell he was rocking around with britney renner the other day i don't know why but um maybe he was trying to help her the fuck out i don't fucking know next story well same story <laughs> all right so over 20 women have posted themselves working at home depot in the past in the last 24 hours this woman says yep i'm in a dinner field now the pretty ones always come from home depot okay so she was there first your favorite cashier, so she's at Home Depot. Same, I love taking photos in my apron. Paint the best apartment. Okay, so a lot of pretty ass girls from y'all lighting better. Y'all's lighting better than ours. So yeah, it's a lot of pretty girls that we're going to Depot. Meet at Home Depot this summer. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I did not expect that, dog. I did not expect that. <laughs> But um no nah, duh I mean lady I'm gonna keep a G with y'all ladies if y'all want the cheat code to find some entrepreneur blue collar men Home Depot's right there these women can find them some good dudes dog they can find them some good dudes man I remember I used to do construction I used to be in Home Depot all the damn time all the time picking up materials almost every single day Home Depot and Lowe's back and forth back and forth I had used to have so many damn so many damn store credit cards. <laughs> For some, for um, material that you don't use, you gotta try to return that bitch back. Man, listen, next story. Oh man, so the Home Depot girl is saying that she had to quit a job, but she still is in high hopes. She isn't really blaming anyone. She just understands the magnitude of the situation. See what she got to say right here. Well, I just wanted to come on here, as y'all probably know me as the Home Depot girl, the girl who went viral, and just talk about how God is really testing my life right now and just testing my faith and trying to keep my patience in him and just trust that there's a bigger thing coming out of all this. Since I blew up on the internet, I have had so much backlash, good and bad. Like it's been a lot of good, but you know, you also have that percentage of bad. Like everybody on Twitter hates me for what? I don't know. Like I literally don't know just because I stood up for myself and that's fine. Um, and then Instagram's really cool. And then, you know, other situations that have happened throughout this whole process that have just kind of been crazy. But I literally had to kind of quit my job in this process because of how much I grew and how many people actually seen this. And people were illegally doxing my address and also figuring out where I worked because, you know, I did have my school in my bio, also my location on Twitter and Home Depot. So if you put math together, like people start figuring stuff out. So now I'm going to have to probably move and just, you know, kind of relocate and start fresh. And I just feel like I just am grateful to God because this opportunity gives me a chance to start over. I also gained a platform and that means a lot to me because I work really hard making, you know, my faith, lifestyle, beauty, and fashion content. So this kind of helps me go towards that direction. But it's also scary because I actually haven't received like any type of brand deals or anything like that. A lot of people think that like my net worth is going to flip now because of fame. Um, that's not how it works. It just kind of, it's unmotivating, but I have faith that God is going to make all of this work out in my favor. So yes, yeah, some doors had to close, but I also know God is going to make a lot of doors open in my favor. So I'm just taking it with the winds, taking the punches, you know, smiling through all this, praying and just knowing that God has me. Just know in due time when the answers and what is for me needs to be revealed, it'll be revealed. I know God is going to make everything work out in my favor in the end and he's going to bless me, you know, so much because I kept faith in him. I posted his word. I kept my head strong and through all this, I actually haven't caught any anxiety through any of this and I haven't been like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do next? Because I just know, like I feel in my heart, you know, when you know you're doing right, you know God is going to bless you and I just kind of wanted to come on here and rant a little bit because I just haven't really had anybody to talk to, you know, so yeah. 
Well, she seemed like a pretty optimistic person with a pretty good head on the shoulder as well, which is to her, good luck in your life, young lady. Next story though. So those women obviously are not trying to lean on their good looks just to have life just given to them. But check out what 50 Cent says about women that do lean on that shit. <laughs> if your appearance is your largest asset, you're gonna do some whole shit. <laughs> yeah. If you Facts. Next story. So this lady right here says there's no difference between having sex with 36 men and having sex 36 times with one man. I can't agree with that. That sounds so stupid. <laughs> that sounds dumb. That sounds so dumb. Do you know about sexually transmitted diseases or sexually transmitted infections? What? And the more you have sex with different people, the more you become at risk to those infections diseases and viruses because those people are going to have their set of partners that they have sex with and they could possibly contract diseases viruses infections and bring them on to you so the, 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 the uh, oh my god this is so stupid this is one of the dumbest tweets of all time that's why she has a clown by her name baby motherfucking clown because she's a dumbass little clown that's why that's why. Let's read some um, comments. Um, okay. This woman says, I don't want 36 men to be able to say they've had me. That's the difference. Well, that's the point. Going to 36 jobs, man, you got to give them your SSN and bank info 36 times. Going to one job for 36 years, you can walk away with benefits and a 401k. Girl, what is you talking about? Do you want that many people inside of you? Damn. Damn. I miss the days where you needed a college email to activate social media. <laughs> Clown emoji explains it all. Facts. This person says, guys, I'm pretty sure she's talking about when men be like she got no walls because she has a lot of bodies. Because honestly, it makes no sense because there's no difference in having sex 36 times with one man or 36 times with different men. So if someone got no walls for having sex with 36 men, then the lady that has sex 36 times with one man has no walls as well. Still, that's dumb because you are excluding the possibility of us contracting STDs with all those 36 men. So it still is dumb. It's dumb. So if men do, some men may go ahead and say the walls argument. They may have the argument, but it's still, it's, 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 it's still stupid. It's still stupid. Also, the emotional connection to the different men is going to play a factor. Because sex comes with that. Homie said, yeah, you a party pack. <laughs> Homie right here says, nah, different because with different guys, there's going to be different germs and bacteria instead of just one person's and there's not all going to be the same size. Some guys going to stretch more than others. Others, If it's just one guy, it's going to be that one size. That she um, to be used to, okay? Yep. Homie says, now there's a difference for one sex is sacred, energy is changed, so being with multiple partners ain't it. You are literally carrying their energy and them walls ain't getting hit by every man because every man isn't the same size. All right? This woman says different sizes, shapes, bacteria, no. Way different in how it will affect one's wall if her elasticity is not that good. So that is also, I, I think that may be um genetically Everything is genetic based on how elastic your walls are. Everything's genetic. This woman says, you know, men have different sizes of pew-pew, so there's a difference. A whole lot of difference. If I put a big candy in my mouth, it can destroy my upper gums, bruise my tongue, and all that. While if I decide to put a small candy, it, won't, it don't do nothing. So if she has only one partner, the routine is the same, but a lot of men is way different. This person says, you do realize women push out a whole baby out their vagina, so the logic that a man's penis can stretch a vagina out is false unless his dick is thick as a tree trunk. Um, listen, even though, even if, okay, I don't have a vagina, I don't, but even if, even if the man doesn't stretch her out, still, the expectations or the mental, the way a woman gets used to that size is going to determine whether or not she'll be pleasured by someone else with a different size. Um, maybe she will be, maybe she won't be, but some women get used to certain expectations and then they don't want nothing smaller. 
They feel like they can't be pleasured because they used to the other thing. They just want that thing or something similar. And that affects them. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and move on to the next story though. So Miss Jazz's world sitting down with money bag. Yo, let's see what they got going on. I'm from Brooklyn, but I've been working on my Memphis accent. Oh, so can I please show you my Memphis accent and can you rate it from one to 10? Yeah, come on. All right, ready? Yeah. All right. What's going on, man? My name is Jazzy. I'm from Memphis, and I love listening to Mr. Money Baggio's music. No, uh, <laughs> so what would you rate me? Honestly, honestly, what would you rate me? I, I could take it. I could take it. A three. Oh, a three. Okay, okay. You're saying the key she word like, that. man, you gotta say it right. You talking country like a hillbilly country, like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You gotta go like, just man, what's up, man? What's up? What that joint is? How much you want for that joint? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's the real. The real lingo, you know what I'm saying? All right, well, I'll work even harder now on it, okay? Thanks. Next time, I'll show you my new one, all right? For sure, I fuck with I'm it, I it. I don't know why people think uh, down south folks speak slow. Some of us speak real, real fast, but we just got a country draw on it. So the draw may make you feel like it's slow. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. Next story, though. All right, so I show speed. Matter of fact, by the way, we we in the um wholesome moments. <laughs> so I show speed. We graduated from high school. Shut this out right here. So I graduated school finally. Let's go! Congratulations. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, fuck you, man. Woo! Come on, bro. Easy, bro. Let's go, hey, bro. Right out here. Congratulations. Let's go. Big bear farm, man. Let's go. Hey. Hope he's 18 for real now. Let's go! I hope he's 18 for real now. And ain't gonna get nobody in trouble, dog. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole damn Black Toad episode in the comment section below, man. I appreciate y'all for hanging out with your boy. I'm back. I'm back with a vengeance and I'm gonna grind and have some fun. So boy, Stacey, I fuck with you reason why, because you fucks with me.